What's going on, smarthelping.com? Back here, and we've got a nice depreciation schedule I've been working on. It's just for depreciation and mainly straight line. Uh, it's not looking at 179 deductions, and I do have a double declining balance standalone where you can just put in the you know, give an asset. This book value, useful life, and salvage value, and it will kind of go for you. But the main benefit of this is tracking a whole bunch of different fixed assets over, uh, let's see, I got this going out for 20, 30 years. Uh, and you can see, based on the purchase price of these different assets, uh, the date of the purchase, the salvage value, in the useful life, we can calculate the de monthly depreciation as well as the final month of depreciation. And then we can show that on a monthly schedule aggregated across all the assets based on those inputs. And we can also then show the book value of all the assets. And you can see, and we can aggregate that total book value down here. And you can see as it goes down with depreciation. Uh, and you'll note, the book value is equal to the salvage value at the last month. So you can see uh, for this one, um, for this last furniture one, it's $25. This $25, we change that to say 1000 Then we go to here and you see it's now at 1000 And that's just because the depreciation basis is going to change based on what the purchase price is relative to the salvage value. That amount is getting depreciated evenly over seven years, starting with this month, this is the last month, and then at that last month of depreciation, this is this whatever the salad value is put in here, that's what it'll be. And then after that, you know, it's off the books. Assuming it's, and this all assumes it's all, um, after the useful life, it's then sold or gotten rid of uh, for the expected salvage value. Now you can easily put in here a, a salvage value of zero and that's fine if you did. Let's do it for this one. It would just go down to zero. So you can see here it starts at 1,071. Um, or the last one, last book value is 1,071. I'm oh, sorry, that's the depreciation expense. The last book value is 1,071 here and then that last month it gets taken out so it goes straight to zero. So this is a nice tool, I think, for you to track fixed assets and what the monthly depreciation would be over, I try to do it over a long enough time frame that it's fairly useful uh, and it can involve a lot of things that change. Um, and then again, the double decline in balance is here as well, uh, which is just taking, you basically double the straight line amount. So let's say it's, uh, let's go back, let's put this at eight years. And let's say the salvage value is, uh, we're going to put zero there. Um, if the salvage value is zero, then whatever the the balance is at the end of year eight is the technical salvage value. But the calculation here, double decline balance is pretty simple. You just do one divided by the useful life times two. And you take that percentage and reduce the book value by that percentage every year. And so you can see the actual depreciation starts higher. Well, it starts at double what the straight line would be, and then as you as that balance goes down, you actually depreciate less and less, and then you end up lower. So you can see the monthly amount is higher here, but it's lower. It just allows you to front load the expense, um, which, depending on what you're doing with your accounting and stuff, that could make a difference for tax purposes, uh, and there's all kinds of things there. But I didn't want to do the double like do an option where you can just toggle the uh, between straight line or double decline and balance here because it was too complicated to try to implement this for you know a whole slew of I did up to slots for up to how many up to 95 fixed assets so there's no way I'm going to try to implement logic for double decline and balance on all those and put that on a schedule is too much but we can do the straight line perfectly and that's very common uh very common one to use um both ways you you're getting the same depreciation it's just about the timing of it and depending on what else you got going on in the business that might be important it might not um so 
yeah, that's it. Uh, now this template, I'm going to go for $45. If you want to purchase it, you just go to smarthelping.com or one of the vendors I put the templates on, which is eloquence or efinancialmodels.com, and it'll, it'll be there for $45. Um, this would probably go de along decently with the equipment rental uh, model that I have, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys find some use out of this, and I'll see you on the next one.